If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another deck profile. Today we're going into the DBT09 updated variant for Bastion Prime. So we got pretty much one new card for the deck, but uh, it does change up a little bit on how we're going to play our ratios. So I thought might as well show you a new update for the Bastion Prime deck for the upcoming meta for set 9 and set 10. So let's just go ahead and uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Starting off uh, our ride deck, nothing has changed. We will keep the same one because it is uh, pretty consistent. So we got base, our starter, fort, which uh, lets you um, reveal top card, call it Rooks, which lets you draw a card if you reveal three threes, and uh, Bastion, which is our main ride for the deck. Uh, Bastion is where um, when you drive checker grade three, you can discard a card from your hand to restand one of your rear guards and give it 10k. So the whole deck is focused around your grade threes and drive checking them. So we want to make sure we run a good amount of grade threes for the deck. Then I'm going to go into our grade fours since we only got four of them. So we got Bastion Prime, which is our main ride for the deck. So Bastion Prime gives 2k to your front row and has a similar skill to Apex Bastion where um, if you drive check a grade three or greater, you then either soul blast a Bastion or discard a Bastion to restand all your grade threes and they all get 10k. So it's a strict broken upgrade. <laughs> um, so we definitely want to run four so that we can ride into it. Uh, it also has triple drive, which is really, really cool. All right, now we're getting into the grade threes, starting off with our other three copies of Apex uh, Ruler Bastion, just so that we can Persona Ride, and also it's a cost for Bastion Prime skill, so it doesn't hurt to run extra copies. Then we're running into our new card, which is Rondalia. I believe I'm saying that correct. So Rondalia's effect is if you have a Vanguard Bastion, you can put this into your soul, and your Bastion Vanguard then gets the skill for the entire turn, all your grade threes have boost. So this makes up for Dark Strain, makes up for the set order that gives, um, Pride and Protect is what it's called, it's the set order that gives all your grade 3s boost. So you can just run this, move to soul, all your grade 3s get boost. Second skill is you can soul blast it, basically put itself into the drop, choose a grade 3 and give it boost. So this is what's helping you give units boost and kind of set you up with your Bastion Prime plays for free essentially, since you don't have to really pay any soul blast or kind of blast costs, you just move this in, move this out. So definitely want to run four of that. Now we're going into our on Honoritas, Honoritas, <laughs> um, Honoritaria. So what Honoritaria does is when it's placed, if you have a Vanguard Bastion, kind of blast one, choose a grade through your hand, call it. If you call the card and you have five or more units, you draw a card. So for a single kind of blast, you can kind of start filling up your board, draw cards. Second skill is during your turn, if you have six more units, this gets boost. So it passively has a way to boost if you don't have um, Rondalia on board. So this way, you know, you can still kind of make some plays. And it's only one kind of blast, so it doesn't really hurt in the long run. So we're going to be running four of this. Then we're going to a really good staple that's never really, really leaving the deck, which is Alden. Alden is when it's placed, counter blast two, soul blast one, so it's a little heavy on the counter blast. You call a card from your hand, if it's a grade three, you draw two cards, so drawing two cards is really nice. When it attacks, if you have three or more grade threes, this gets 5k. So that stacks every time this attacks two, so if it attacks twice, it's getting 10k. So this is just to kind of help you build up your hand, build a board. Um, it's your main counter blasting card for the most part, so if you have the counter blast to do it, I suggest doing it. Um, it's just a really good uh, resource building card just because you know hand is really important for the deck Then I am running three copies or sorry four copies of Reflux um, Very simple card. It came in the Bastion trial deck. It's uh, Put in the soul choose a grade three and it gets 10k So this is just to make whatever you're restanding or just your columns even bigger You don't really need to worry about creating too much soul for this deck. So but uh, I do like the way where you can kind of play around between um, Rondalia and Reflux, kind of switching around the soul. So like you can put this, you can put this down, move this in, give things boost, or move this in and give something 10k. You can kind of play around with how you're exchanging your board um, and kind of fixing your columns. Just the fact that these two cards move into the soul, and then you can kind of fix up whatever whatever you got going on at the moment. Then I am running two copies of Embrace Dragon. This is uh, your shield. 
So it is, when it's placed on the guard circle, you choose your vanguard, uh, and if it's grade 2 or greater, it gets 10k power, so it's like a 10k shield. If it's grade 4, it gets 20k. So by the time you're on Bastion Prime, this is a really good shield, um, but it's also just for early game, so your opponent doesn't rush you, and it's still a good shield while you're on the grade 3 Bastion. Um, I'm not really going to get it too, just because um, I just want to be a little more aggressive. And uh, if you feel like you need more shield, I would recommend running more copies of this. And lastly, I'm running one copy of the order, which is Form Up Oh Chosen Knights. So what this does is you can't bless one, still bless one. Based on the number of great pieces on your board, if you have two or more, something gets 5k. Three or more, you draw a card. Four or more, your Vanguard gets an extra drive. So this means your uh, Bastion Prime, which has triple drive, can have quad drive which can be really impactful considering this is a game that's very trigger reliant. So uh, Form of Chosen Knight just running out of one just because we do have a lot of stuff that kind of blasts in the deck, um, but it's just like a really good um, helpful push, you know, when you're just trying to maybe get some triggers or get those skills off for those drive checks. All right, so that was it for grade threes. We're just gonna pack all these up real quick. The only non grade three normal unit in the deck uh, is just RPGs which is our Aegis Mirror Dragons. So we're not running Elementaria because we run grade fours. Elementaria Sanctitude um, only works if you have a grade three Vanguard. So once you ride Bastion Prime, they don't work. So just for consistency's sake, we're sticking with the Aegis Mares. So this is just your PG that works. Um, if you have two or more in hand, you have to discard. But if you have one or less in hand, you don't have to discard for the cost. So it's just a better PG to be running for standard. And then, Onto our triggers, starting off with our over trigger. Uh, it's the best over trigger for Bastion, basically. Uh, our Martinoa. It turns your uh, rear, it gives your rear guards the ability to perform drive check, meaning that all your grade three rear guards have twin drive inherently, meaning all of their attacks will be twin drive when they swing if you get the over trigger off. So, uh, twin drive is really cool for your rear guard drive checks. Uh, triggers, very, very simple trigger lineup. It's uh, eight crit. So we're just doing the four vanillas from the trial deck and just some four vanillas that you find anywhere else. You can run the blade feather um, dragon if you would like, but I just feel like the power is a little more important just because you don't really need the soul in this deck. Um, but if you have to call a trigger from like Fort's ability or you just want to push for an extra 5k, um, I just feel like the 5k is going to be more important than a skill that increases your soul. So I think you don't really need to worry about running the Blade Feathers. I am running three copies of um, Proby, Proby. So this is the draw trigger where it gets 5k shield if your opponent's at grade three. Just, you know, just because we're running draws instead of fronts. Uh, I like the draws just because I want to be able to build my board and I want to be able to see more units and kind of be as aggressive as I can as the current meta is basically you want to kill the turn that you ride to Bastion Prime. So draw triggers kind of help me see the pieces I need to make sure I can create that kill turn. And um, I think the front triggers might just be slightly overkill just because your front row and all your units are gonna be getting that extra 10K anyways. But um, if your personal experience says that you would like to stick with fronts, maybe you wanna do two draws, two fronts, and um, you know seven crit, that's something you can do as well. That's something I've played around in the past before, but for the sake of consistency, crits win games, draws help you see what you're looking for. So that's kind of what I stuck with. Last up for our triggers, we're doing our four heals. Uh, three of them are the trial deck ones, and I'm running one uh, Hardiness Sorceress, just because um, Hardiness Tier Sorceress. There's a lot of units that increase their criticals by card abilities, so this is kind of to help mitigate the amount of damage you're taking, especially in a format where um, you're just seeing a lot of Ava. <laughs> so. Um, Ava has Upski Die, which gains a crit by its own ability, so being able to kind of help you mitigate the amount of damage you're taking, this can help out. If you'd like, you might want to run two of the hard Hardiness, since, you know, you're running a deck full of grade threes, you don't have a lot of shield, but, um, you know, kind of kind of keeping it just with the, the three and one, just because you might come across decks that don't have those effects, and the 10k shield isn't going to be as important as the 15k shield, so... Just mixing around. You never know what you're going to play against, but depending on your locals and the scene and the meta, you can shift these ratios around as much as you feel comfortable. But this is just what I've, what I've been playing around with. All right, 
So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Um, hoping to maybe see what's coming up next in the future for Bastion. Um, the Festival Collection support does look really interesting. I'm really looking forward to that new card, the Great Three that removes the over trigger from your drop zone to increase power and such. So, or also, or you know, also um, the uh, the aura card that guarantees that the shield works. Where um, defensively, when you soul blast, you get um, 20k power, and anything that your opponent uses that you know has an over trigger on it has minus one critical. These are all cards that are really helpful for Bastion, but you know. It, it's a regalis piece, so trying to pick that between the, the doll and that card, so kind of going back and forth on that. But anyways, that's it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.